So in this video, the problem we would like to solve is the, is the following. Uh, suppose we have the xy plane and we have two arbitrary points, p1 and p2, in that plane. We would like to find the equation of the straight line that passes through those two points. There's a unique line, there's only one line that can pass through those two points. p1 has the coordinates of x1 and y1, p2 has the coordinates of x2 and y2. So what can we do? So let, let's draw here another straight line. So one, an important property of this straight line is that the slope is, is constant on the straight line. What, what does that mean? So if I pick a point, let's say P1 and P2, and I want to compute the slope of the straight line, so the way we do that is we compute the difference in the y coordinates, let's call this delta y, and divide that by the difference in the x coordinates, uh, which we'll call delta x. So the slope of the line equals delta y divided by delta x. But suppose we had another point on the line, let's call it p3. So using p3 and p2, or p3 and p1, we can also compute the slope of the straight line. So let's draw that here. So using p3 and p2, let's call this delta y1, and let's call this difference in the x-coordinates delta x1. So this slope of the straight line computed using p2 and p3 equals delta y1 divided by delta x1, and these two slopes need to be equal. So the slope of a straight line does not change regardless of what two points you use to compute them. So that's how we're going to drive the uh, equation of the straight line. So we're going to pick a general point on the line. It doesn't have to be in between p1 and p2, but just for simplicity we'll do that. So we'll call this point p. And we're going to give it the coordinates x and y. So first we're going to write the slope of the line using p and p1. This should have been p. So using p and p1 we're going to uh, drive the slope of the uh, line. And we're going to equate it to the slope computed using p2 and p1. So slope using p and p1 equals to the slope computed using p2 and p1. So the slope using p and p1. So it's the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So that's y minus y1 divided by x minus x1. So the difference between the y-coordinates is y minus 1, y1, divided by the difference in the x-coordinates, which is x minus x1. That's going to equal to the slope computed using p2 and p1. The difference in the y-coordinates between p2 and p1 is this height here. So it's y2 minus y1 equal uh, divided by x2 minus x1. And we'll call that m. So m is the slope of the line. So m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So that's a constant value. So let's rewrite this. So y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 equals m. Let's multiply this entire equation by x minus x1. So that gives us y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We'll move the y1 to the other side. So y equals m x minus x1 plus y1. Now we're going to expand this first term. So y equals mx minus mx1 plus y1, which can be rewritten as mx plus y1 
minus mx1. And we will write that as y equals mx plus b, where b equals b equals this term here, y1 minus mx1. So this is the equation of, of our straight line. m is the slope of the line. What is b? So we have y equals mx plus b. When x equals 0, y equals m times 0 plus b, which means y equals b. So when x equals 0, which is on the y-axis, y equals b, it means the place where the line intersects the y-axis, this is b. So b is the y-intercept. So this is the general equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus b. The constant number that's multiplied by x, that's the slope of the line. The constant term, that's the y-intercept, that's the place where the, your straight line intersects the y-axis.